When I first met him on my visit, uh, he was pretty like relaxed, pretty like laid back. Uh, not, not, he's totally opposite from what he is on the field. Uh, the first time that I met him, my first impression of him was that he's really young. So uh, it was a lot different, you know, meeting him for the first time and kind of talking and interacting with him just because he's so uh, so much younger than my old offensive coordinator. First time I met him was uh, I came on a visit like my senior year in high school and uh, he just seemed like a, you know, he'd just gotten here and he was ready to get to work and uh, I could just really tell he liked the game of football and was excited to get the season going. He's pretty like fiery, um, he just likes to go. It's no slowing him down, uh, it's his mind starts racing and then it's something to do every second. On the field he, he's, he's really uh, energetic, he, um, he's non-stop, he's always pacing around doing something, always trying to uh, you know perfect the offense I guess. He's got great intensity on the field and then um, just trying to you know relate to us as football players and then relating to us as you know, just, you know, 19, 20 year old guys. It's just cool, we, we rarely talk about football uh, as far as if we're away from the field, like if we go to his house for dinner or something. But he's just laid back, just, just cool dude. Off the field, he's actually a really funny guy. Uh, not a lot of the team knows that because he, they don't get to see him in the meetings and stuff, but uh, he'll crack a lot of jokes and stuff, and he's actually a lot of fun to be around in the meetings. I mean, he's, he's real laid back and likes to, you know, talk about what's going on, uh, you know, outside of football and, uh, you know, how his golf game is or, um, but we've gone to his house, you know, a couple times and ate and it's just, we're just there as friends and, you know, talking about anything, it doesn't have to be football. If you know Coach Ken, that's a, probably the, the, the most important part of his life is his kids and uh, he just shows you that father, uh, fatherly role and we're, I mean, when his kids are around, we're always around him. Um, that, that was one of the first things I, I noticed about him uh, when, we first, when I first got here, you know, he was talking about his kids and, you know, we immediately met him and uh, he, he wanted that to be a big thing, like, to us, for us to know his family and to know that he cared about him and that's a big part of his life. He's a really big family guy. I know uh, he, he takes a lot of pride in Chris and Tori. Uh, they're always around here a lot, and he's always talking about them in meetings and stuff. And we always know what's, what's going on with Chris and Tori. I want the film to show who you are as a man. I want you to represent yourself as a man and your family because the film's going to show it. Just do your job. It's easy. Just do your job. Just do it. It's easy. Come on, guys. We can't beat the grass. If we can't beat the grass, how are we going to beat anybody?